Let's graph the linear equation y equals negative x, and we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put some values in for x here, find the values, the corresponding values for y, and then with those points, we can graph them to get our linear equation. Next, we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula y equals mx plus b. So let's put some values in for x. If we started with 0, it's a good place to start, we could say y equals negative 0. Well, that's just 0. We could also put 1 in, so y equals negative 1. Or we could just put negative 1 in for x, so we have a negative negative 1, that's just 1. And these are the points for our linear equation. So let's start by graphing x is 0 and y is 0. So we find x is 0 right here and y is 0 is right here. So that's our first point. Then we have x is 1 and y is negative 1. So we go over 1 and then down to y is negative 1 and we have our second point. Some people only graph two points. I like to graph three in case I made a mistake then I'll usually catch it. So x is negative 1 and y is positive 1. And there we see they're all in a line. We can even put a line through this. Let's put some arrows out here to show this goes to infinity. And this is the graph for y equals negative x. We could have tested more points, but they would all just be on the line here. Let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, and b is the y-intercept, except there's nothing out here. So let's just call b 0, because that won't change our equation here. It's still y equals negative x. But now we have the y-intercept, which is 0, and that's where our line should cross the y-axis. So let's find 0 right there. That's our y-intercept. Now let's look at the slope. We have a negative x. You can think of that as negative 1x, although we don't write the 1. And if we call it negative 1 over 1, it's still negative x. Just now we have this fraction. We can call this rise over run. So if this were positive 1, we would go up 1 and then over 1. But since it's a negative 1, we're going to go down 1 and then over 1. So we go to our y-intercept, we go down 1, over 1, and there's our point. And we can just keep doing this, down 1, over 1. And all these points, they'll fall here on our line. Likewise, we could do the opposite. Instead of going down 1, over 1 to the right, we could go up 1, over 1 to the left. And we could keep doing that as well, up 1, over 1 to the left. So we did this first part correctly. This is the linear equation for y equals negative x. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.